Good morning. My name is Lillian Moss. Can you say your name for the record, please? Good morning. My name is Dustin Henry. And what is your candidate number, please? My candidate number is 217243460. Thank you. And you are taking this test as a nurse. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Thank you. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. The warm-up questions are not assessed and are a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right. Have you ever been in a situation in which a co-worker put a patient in jeopardy? If so, how did you handle it? I actually have experienced a time that I had to report a co-worker to my supervisor. One of my peers had a diabetic patient who had insulin orders per sliding scale. The nurse gave insulin to the patient without checking his blood sugar level first. She told me and asked me not to tell anyone. However, I knew that patient safety the responsibility of everyone. So, I did notify the supervisor. Is there a particular story about a pediatric patient that was personally moving for you? There are so many children whose stories are moving to me, even after it has been a while since I've cared for them. One of the most moving. I can say without a doubt, was when I cared for a boy who was a twin. He was terminally ill. His brother stayed at his side night and day. He slept in his bed as much as possible. It was heartbreaking and encouraging at the same time, if that makes sense. It renewed my faith in people and in what love and care for others can really do. That child didn't survive, but his memory will live on forever. What is one of the most difficult things about being a nursing aide? As with most jobs, I'm sure we all have things that we wish we could change or find a way to make better. For me, one of the most difficult things is having a patient who has no family or friends to visit them. As a nursing aide, I have a number of people to care for daily and time is often of the essence. When I have a patient who has no one to come by and check on him or spend time with him, I find myself wanting to spend extra time with that patient. It is difficult sometimes because time does not always allow for that. If you begin to feel overwhelmed with the situation at work, how do you handle it? I am usually not easily overwhelmed, but we do all have times that some situations affect us differently. If I begin to feel anxious or overwhelmed, if possible, I take a break for a few minutes. Sometimes just stepping outside and getting a breath of fresh air helps me to relax. Also, I am not too embarrassed to call on a co-worker or supervisor if I need help. Patient care is my number one priority. How do you handle stressful situations? I've learned not to take words or actions of stressed patients personally. Even when I'm feeling rushed or overwhelmed by a deadline and being pulled in too many directions, I can ground myself knowing that I'm providing the best customer service and caring for my patients the best way that I can. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to the role plays now. I'll take the part of the patients or perhaps a relative and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when three minutes are up. You can ask me if there is anything you are not sure about and you can make notes on the role play card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you. Excuse me, please. Can I have the names of the child and mother, please? Let the child's name be Ebert Eastwood. And mother's name be Grace Garland. Thank you. Your preparation time is over. Now you can start your role play. Don't worry if I stop the role play when the time is up. Hi, Grace. I'm Dustin Henry, one of the nurses in the emergency department. 
How's Ebert? Hi, Dustin. Yes, he seems to be okay. Great to hear that. But, I am a bit concerned about his health. Being a mother, your anxiety is reasonable. However, there is nothing to be alarmed about it right now. For your understanding, I can explain it to you. Oh. That will be much appreciable, nurse. During admission, his condition was a bit severe, and he was suffering from acute meningoencephalitis, which can occur if the mumps virus spreads into the outer protective layer of the brain. It occurs in about 1 in 7 cases of mumps. Since, our doctors are well experts, they provide better treatment in the right time. Your son was given some effective antiviral therapy. Antiviral drugs are used to cure viral infection. Are you understanding me? Yes, I am. Nurse, how well the treatment aids in his recovery? I can understand your concern, Grace. Well, I can assure you that your child has fully recovered now. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that, nurse. Great, however, I would like to tell you that there is a full vaccination program available for the children. Getting vaccinated can avoid many life-threatening conditions like this. Oh, I see. I am really unaware of the vaccination, nurse. As I have a younger child and being a mother of two children it is my responsibility to know regarding the vaccine. Can you please help me with it? Sure, I'm very glad to explain it to you. That's so kind of you. Vaccines develop acquired immunity in each individuals. Immunity is a kind of defense mechanism against diseases by our body. And, in some cases, our body requires some agents to act as soldiers against the diseases which are simply termed as vaccine. Am I clear? Yes, I understand you. There are many vaccinations available to prevent deadly diseases. In case of mumps, the vaccine to be received is MMR vaccine, which is a combination vaccine for mumps, measles and rubella. The first MMR shot is generally given between the ages of 12 and 15 months. A second vaccination is necessary for school-aged children between 4 and 6 years old. With two doses, the mumps vaccine is approximately 88% effective. Is this the only vaccine available, nurse? MMR is the most widely used and accepted vaccination program available for the mumps. All right. Well, does the vaccine have any sort of side effects? Like many medical treatments, the MMR vaccine can cause side effects. However, according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, most people who have the vaccine experience no side effects at all. In addition, they states that getting the MMR vaccine is much safer than getting measles, mumps, or rubella. I agree with your statement. May I know the side effects of MMR vaccine, please? Side effects of the MMR vaccine can range from minor to serious, minor side effects such as fever and mild rash. Moderate side effects pain and stiffness of the joints, seizure, and low platelet count and even serious side effects like an allergic reaction, which can cause hives, swelling, and trouble breathing. Extremely rare. If your child has side effects from the vaccine that concern you, inform your doctor as soon as possible. All right. I got it. Your points are much clearer to me. In addition, in most of the schools in Australia vaccination is a mandatory requirement. During admission, they may ask for the vaccination register, which is a book that consists of all the informations regarding the vaccination received. Oh, really I was quite unknown about it. Actually, we are recent migrants to Australia. So I'm new to all these things. All right, that is fine. Would you like to know anything else regarding vaccination? Nurse, if you don't mind may I know how much the MMR vaccine costs? Well, the vaccinations can be obtained from health clinics for free of cost. That's great, you know. Okay, do you have any more clarification needed, Grace? No, nurse. I got all the details I was looking for. Thank you so much for your time and valuable information. It's my duty, Grace. Anyways, I can provide you with a detailed leaflet, consist of all the vaccines, and its schedules. I wish you all a very healthy life ahead. That's great, thank you. You are welcome. That's the end of your speaking role play. Thank you and all the best. Thank you. Thank you for watching. 
Please, like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.